We got some early December deals on Amazon. Let's take a look. Welcome back to the channel. I've done these videos before, I'm gonna do another one. So after Black Friday and all the different specials that came out, I'm looking at what are some good deals on Amazon right now in early December. And I'm gonna go through about, I think I got like 30 or 31 different deals. So I gotta go fast through all these different deals. I'm just gonna showcase them for you. Just got back from Germany in the Christmas markets. It was beautiful over there. I'll show some pictures over here. But as you can see, I had a great time in Germany. But I'm a little bit kind of jet lagged and stuff, so I had to make a video and I figured this is the easiest one to make. So let's, without further ado, let's get into it. Here comes 30 different products I think are good deals right now on Amazon in early December. All right, deal number one. It says Apple 2023. This is the M3 Pro chip. Now this is the 16.2 inch. It's on sale for $16.99, but it comes with 36 gigs of RAM, not, not 18, 36. So you get that upgraded storage. So this is actually on sale for about 200 bucks off right now. So if you're looking for that bigger M3 Pro chip on the 16 inch, this is actually a pretty good deal. All right, now I'm gonna throw some Windows laptops in here just because sometimes people like to game, like to do other stuff, so why not? These are good deals as well. If you look right now, this is the HP Pavilion Plus. It's a 14 inch, 2.8K OLED display. So this is actually a pretty good display in this system. It comes with 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, and it comes with a GeForce RTX 2050. So it's actually got a decent graphics card in there for $7.99. It's usually $12.99, so it's 38% off. And I'll have links to all this stuff in the video description if you want to check them out. But for if you want to just do some simple gaming on a Windows machine or you need it for work or something, it's not a bad deal. All right, and we finally have a deal on the studio display on Amazon, believe it or not. Here it is, studio display right now. Usually, what is it? Usually $15.99, it's $14.49, so about $150 off. You almost never see this on Amazon, so if you want to pick one up and you're thinking about it, it's still really high in cost, we know that, but $14.49 is a little bit easier to stomach, maybe. Anyways, pick it up on Amazon. All right, let's keep moving. So now we got the keyboard. So if you're looking for the Apple Magic keyboard, and this has actually got the Touch ID right here. You can see it right over there. It's 119 bucks. It's actually 19% off, usually 149 bucks. So that's a really good deal as well. Let's just keep moving down the list. Here's the Apple iPad Air. This is the fifth generation with the M1 chip. So you know, obviously it's gonna be so fast for, for a tablet. You don't even need an M1 chip really, but 10.9 inch. It used to be, let me see here, it's 17% off. It used to be $5.99, it's $4.99, so you get 100 bucks off. So if you're thinking about the iPad Air, this is actually a really good deal as well going on right now. And then here we go. So here's Apple's 2023 MacBook Pro. This is, again, the M3 Pro chip. Now this is gonna be, let me just see here, 14, 14.2 inch, this is the smaller one, 18 gigs of RAM. So this is basically the base model, but it's a hundred bucks off. So instead of 19.99, this is 18.99. I think this is the one you wanna pick up besides the base model M3 chip, because this has got the Pro chip, it's got you know everything else, 18 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD. It's a way better system, I think. So especially for that hundred bucks off, it's only 5% off, but not a bad deal there. Here's the one I was just talking about. So if you actually have to go with this one just because of money, I kind of always say don't get the eight gigs of RAM in here. This is just the 14.2 the inch M3, normal M3 chip. And this has only got eight gigs of RAM right there. So it's the base, base model, 1449. Still, what is that, 150 bucks off. But the other one's a lot better deal, even though I think, what is that? It's still 400 bucks more. I know it's a lot of money, but if you can swing the other one, I would get the other one. All right, let's keep going. Now I'm gonna have a lot of laptops coming up, but I'm gonna have TVs and SSDs and a whole bunch of other stuff, so stay tuned. Here we go. This is actually kind of interesting. This is the late 2021 Apple MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip, 14 inch, 16 gigs of RAM, one terabyte of space, 1417, so 1400 bucks, 17. This looks like it's crazy because it's renewed. Let me just, this is the Amazon renewed. So just full disclosure, I've never bought Amazon renewed, but there's some good reviews in here, people saying that they're pristine. Anyways, if you're thinking about this and you wanna keep your price as low as possible, this is one option right here. This does come with a terabyte of space. The next option to keep it even lower, this is again is the M1 chip, the M1 Pro chip, mind you. This is the 16 inch, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabyte SSD, renewed again, but 1323. So you get a little bit less space there, but it's actually about a hundred bucks cheaper there. So if you wanna get something renewed and it's, you know, M1s or M1 Pros are still super fast, it's not a bad deal if you trust Amazon Renew. Just keep in mind that those are renewed. Let's keep going here. Another, this is actually another good deal on a Windows laptop. This is the Lenovo ThinkPad Z16 laptop. It's a 16 inch laptop here. Now it says it beats the i7-1255U, which is a little bit older CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, but two terabytes of NVMe space. So you get a lot of stuff packed in here for 739. So if you're thinking again about a Windows laptop for 739, a two terabyte SSD with all that RAM, that's actually a real good, you know, really good deal, I think, overall, if you're looking for that. 
All right, now this one, pick it up all you can. It's probably gonna be until the end of Christmas, but here is the 15.3 inch, the bigger MacBook Air. This is the M2 though, mind you, right here, obviously, because it didn't come out with the M3 yet. Eight gigs of RAM, 256. So this is a good, just a starter laptop. It's gonna do most of the stuff you need. I don't recommend eight gigs again, but for 1099, it's still a really good deal there. And as we keep working our way down, Apple 2021 MacBook Pro. So again, this is gonna be from 2021. This is the 16.2 inch, the bigger one. It's got the M1 Pro chip as well. And it's got 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabyte SSD here, space gray. And this is gonna be 1899. The weird thing about this one is it's from the Apple store and it says buy new. So if they're actually selling them new on Amazon from the Apple store all the way back to the M1s for somehow they're doing it. You can see right here, Apple store and new right there. So check this one out if you want a new one. All right, so if you're thinking about this configuration, you're gonna save like 60 bucks here. It's not a huge deal, but at the end of the day, these are hard to find. This is a Mac Mini M2 Pro chip, so it's got the Pro chip in it, 10-core CPU, 16-core GPU, 32 gigs of memory, and one terabyte SSD, so you get all those upgrades. 1839, I think it would be like 1899 usually, but it's hard to find that configuration and get some kind of a discount. So if you're thinking about that, this is actually a pretty good one. All right, here we go. So these are probably the best earbuds you can buy if you're on a budget. Here's the Apple AirPods second generation wireless earbuds. Used to be 129, now 99 bucks. You can see that almost 600,000 ratings. So a lot of people bought these things, they work really well. So if you're thinking about a cheap pair of Apple ones, I would pick these up. These are these are really good. All right, next one is actually this thing I have sitting right here. Funny, I did a whole video on this thing. This is actually another. It's a very inexpensive Windows laptop. It's not the best one out there, it's, but it's 359 bucks if you see over here. It's not usually this much. I don't know why they have this negative 72%. It's not worth even close to 12.99. But for 359, it comes with the 512 gigabyte SSD, it comes with 16 gigs of RAM, it comes with Windows 11 Pro, and then it comes with the kind of a N95 processor, fast enough for most things. Overall though, for the money, for 359, if you want like a burner laptop, this one's not bad. All right, now we got some TVs. I'm gonna give you the best deal on a kind of a cheaper one, and then I like a good deal on a more expensive one. So first one here, and I actually have Hisense TV downstairs. It works, you know, it's great. Here's a Hisense 65 inch R6 series. It's got really good reviews. You can see a 4.5, 389 for a full 65 inch TV. And these TVs work great. I have a Hisense, like I said, it works great for me. So I wanted to throw that in for that deal. 43% off on that right now. The next one is actually a Sony 75 inch, so a huge Sony TV. Ultra HD 4K, obviously, the X80K, 998, 17% off, usually 1200 bucks. Again, a really good deal on a nice, you know, a little bit nicer TV if you like Sony. Sony never makes bad TVs. All right, the next one is gonna be something I have downstairs with my TV. These things sound great, so if you're looking for like a Roku player, a Roku player, and you want like a sound bar, these are kind of combined, 149, 40% off right now. So it comes with the Roku, it comes with a, a kind of a sound bar and a subwoofer. The sound is incredible on these things for 149 bucks. This is one of the lowest prices I've seen for the subwoofer also. So consider this if you're just thinking about getting all those things combined. Now here's another one, this is a little cheap one, but if you're thinking about a mechanical keyboard with red switches, here's one for 29 bucks. It's actually a cool thing, it's wire, it's Bluetooth here, and it does have keys, it'll work with the Mac just fine. Um, a lot of good ratings on this thing, and so if you're just kind of wanna test it out, it's a small, kind of small footprint, it's about the same footprint as I have right here, but it's a mechanical keyboard with red switches for under 30 bucks. All right, now we got another all-in-one, but not a Mac. This is actually a pretty good deal. It's the Lenovo 2023 Idea Center all-in-one. It's a 27 inch, although it's only 1080p. And it comes in, let's see here, the i5-1340H. It claims it beats the i7 from the previous generation, but 16 gigs of RAM, two terabyte SSD again, and 939. So it's a really cool all-in-one. You can see kind of the pictures here. If you take a look at it, all the guts are in this little area here, and it's just the monitor up here, so it's an all-in-one computer. So for under a thousand bucks, if you're looking for a Windows machine, you need one for work or something, this one's actually a pretty good deal as well. All right, if you wanna get into the Apple Watch series, but you want the cheapest possible price, take a look over here. Here's the Apple Watch SE second gen. This is the 44 millimeter, and it's about 8% off now, so it's 257.75, one of the lowest prices I've seen for, you know, it's basically new. So if you're thinking about it, trying just to test the waters and don't wanna spend eight, 700 bucks or something like that, this is a good one to test out. All right. Good, you know, Silicon Power has some good hard drives for just, I call them hard drives that I just do basic things on, all right? So here's one over here, 7897 for a two terabyte. This is a two and a half inch drive. So if you if you wanted just some basic storage, it'll go about four to 500 megabytes per second just to do offload files and stuff. But the good thing about these things is they don't get really hot. You can get a really inexpensive enclosure for them and then do external storage. So for 7897, not bad for two terabytes. 
All right, now we got some kind of you know backup drives that are pre-made. So here's one, the Crucial X6, two terabytes, 104 bucks right now, 48% off. This is up to about 800 megabytes per second, so it's gonna be a little bit faster than that silicon drive, but it's still not the fastest, but it can do 4K editing and everything you want, so I wouldn't even look, you know, it's fast enough for most people. And then if you keep going up the scale here, here's the Crucial X9, two terabytes, just about five, 10, what is it, five bucks more only, that's, what is this? Let me see here. Up to 10, uh, 1,050 megabytes per second. So even faster yet. So from 800 now to 1,050. Again, they're gonna, probably going to get a little bit less than that. That's what they always say. But still, a really good deal for two terabytes at 109 there. If you keep going down the list, here's the Crucial X9 Pro. This is a four terabyte portable SSD. Same speed at 1050 megabytes per second. 239 for four terabytes. I recommend something like this would be perfect for video editing or just taking it to the coffee shop and adding it to any of your MacBooks and stuff. These are really good systems and they're really, you don't need 2,800 megabytes per second. If you do, you know you do, but most people just don't. So this is a good pickup for 239 if you wanna add that four terabytes of storage. Let's keep working down the list. Here's a Silicon Power one. Now this one's actually probably the cheapest four terabyte I've found so far. This one's four, Silicon Power four terabyte PC660 portable external SSD drive. Um, and it looks like it's gonna have a, it's gonna have a gen, it's gonna have a USB-C to USB-A, but it's gonna have a dongle where you can put it at the end of it so it can go into USB-C as well. So that works okay. But 159 bucks right now for four terabytes. See that right there? That's pretty incredible for a backup drive. It's got good reviews too, 955 reviews, 4.4, a lot of people like it. So check it out, I'll have the link in the description, but for four terabytes, that's one of the cheapest I've seen. It's not gonna be the fastest, but for basic, just backup storage, it's a good deal. All right, and then this one I have sitting right there. You can see how small it is. It looks way bigger when I put it up there, but back here, it's really tiny. It's a couple inches long. Here it is, it's the Silicon Power 2 terabyte, 105.99. You can see it right here in this picture. So it's tiny, so if you want a little tiny drive like this, that's two terabytes, you're paying for that size. 105.99, again, it goes up to about 1,050 megabytes per second. You're gonna get a little bit less than that, like I always say, watch my video, I did a video on this one, a whole video on it, so anyways, you get the idea. Still a pretty good deal at the end of the day, it's 12% off right now. Um, now here's one for professionals if you wanna spend a little bit more money. Here's a SanDisk Professional, it's only two terabytes, but it's the Pro G40. This is gonna be up to 3,000 megabytes per second, Thunderbolt 3, 40 gigabit per second enclosure. It's an all-in-one here, so 229 bucks right here, or two terabytes, and it's $3.99 for four terabytes. So you're gonna get up to that 3,000. I'm looking in here, a lot of people, if I scroll all the way down, I don't know if I can get there in time. A lot of people in here are saying it works fine, and they're, but they're really getting about, let me see here, this guy was getting 2785 and 2580, so he's not gonna get the 3,000, but he's gonna get in that 2600 range. Still great for a pre-built external for 229. That's, you don't have to do the work and buy all the pieces and stuff. Not a bad deal for professionals that need that speed. All right, just a couple last ones. We have the Sandus 2 terabyte Extreme Pro. So this one's up to 2,000. Again, 149.99, it's gonna be two terabytes. So it's a little bit less expensive than the last one, but obviously you're paying, you're not gonna get as fast of speeds with this one, but still pretty fast, one of the fastest ones. It's also water and dust resistant. And then finally, my last one I have in the list here is the Ace Magic. I have one sitting over there and I did a video on this, but it's basically these computers. Now this says 199 if you look here. These things are really inexpensive. It's, it's gonna come with the Windows 11 Pro, a 12th gen an N95 chip. 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gig SSD for 199 bucks, right? That seems like a great deal, especially when you're getting Windows Pro. No, but if you if you log into your Prime account, it's actually 159, 159 bucks right now for this thing. So it's it's got a big percentage off. I don't know what that is, like 25% off or something. So look for that deal. For 150 bucks, if you want a burner Windows machine that you can fool around with and stuff, these are great. They work really good and I have one. So anyways, can't complain. I'm gonna wrap this up. It's getting long. And uh, again, I wish I was back in Germany. You can see a couple pictures here. I had a great time out there with all the Christmas markets. I went to Munich and Nuremberg and Bamberg and Frankfurt and you name it. It was a great vacation. We'll talk to everybody soon where I can catch my breath and maybe I'll have Get back on track a little bit better from the jet lag and stuff, but I'll talk to you soon. Peace.